Hi guys, so in this video, we'll talk about another template meta programming question, which is very commonly asked in HFTs and hedge funds interviews. So let's jump into it. The question is that you have to write a template meta function to find the dimension of the array of any type at compile time. So what do I mean by the dimension of an array? Like uh, this is a one dimensional array. So the dimension of this particular type is one because it is a 1D array. So let's take a scenario where we have an array of floating point numbers. So like this is a three dimensional array. So the dimension of this array is like three. So we have to basically tell this particular dimension that we will be given an array of any type. As I said, it could be an array of integers. It could be an array of floating point numbers or doubles or any particular custom type as well. And you have to type what is you have to tell what is the dimension of that particular array. As I said, the dimension of this is one and the dimension of this particular array is three. So dimension is also called as rank. So in this video, we will refer the dimension as rank only. OK, so more formally, what we have to do is that you have to implement a rank template meta function and we can pass any particular type to it and it so basically template meta function are meta functions are usually templated structs or class structs or classes in c plus plus and this particular rank template struct you have to implement and it can you can pass any type to it and it will have a member variable called value and that value will actually tell the the value stored in that particular member will actually tell what is the dimension of that array okay so like this is not an array hence the value should be zero so this is a one dimensional array of floating point numbers hence value is one this is a two dimensional array of array of care since the value is two this is a three four dimensional array of a custom type called emp like employee and this type can be anything it can be an array it can be a class or a struct and since it is a four dimensional array hence the value is four so it's very easy to implement let's see how we can do it so this is our primary template as i said like we the template meta functions are usually templated structs or classes so this is our primary template and uh, it has this value data member and it is static const expr i mean const expr as i have also mentioned in my previous videos that it is a constant expression so const expr variables values are all already known at compile time okay hence this type is const expr only and it is static because we want to access this value variable without creating or instantiating this rank struct so its value is zero only because this primary template will actually handle all the non-array types and all the non-array types have no dimension hence the value is zero and we will be implementing this template meta function using recursion so this is also going to be our terminating condition in the recursion now as you may know that in c++ you can write array in two like you can declare array uh, via two syntaxes like one is this int array and where this square brackets are empty i mean you do not need to specify the size of the array i mean compiler can actually compute it by looking at the value stored in the array by looking at the count of the value stored in the array so we should be able to handle this as well and another way you can specify array is that in the square bracket you can also tell the size so in our template meta function should be able to handle both the scenarios hence i have two partial specializations of this rank struct one is this where i handle this uh, condition where uh, the value stored in bra square brackets is empty basically the square brackets do not contain any value so here are a uh, value data member so how it would be computed so we know that at least the dimension of this particular array is one because you can see this square bracket here and now whatever type is left that is the type t is left so we recursively compute the dimension of the leftover type that is t hence the value is assigned as one plus rank of t colon colon value i mean whatever is the dimension of the leftover type similarly this template meta function is implemented like this is similar to this only that it handles the scenario where the square bracket might contain the size of the array so we have two types like type name t and size tn and we am handling this scenario t in square bracket we have n so what would be the value we definitely know that the uh, dimension of this particular array type is at least one plus whatever is the dimension of this leftover type that is t hence one u plus rank t colon colon value okay and you can see here like uh, i have if I, i'm doing static asserts to check whether our template meta function is correct or not so here the value should be zero because this integer is not an array here we have a one dimensional array of floating time since value should be one here we have a two dimensional array of character pointer hence the value should be two here i have created a mem uh, like a variable x and i am trying to compute the dimension of this x so you can get the type of any particular variable using this decal type function in c plus plus 
so decal type x colon colon value should be zero because this is an integer similarly i have a two dimensional matrix i am doing decal type matrix to get the dimension of this array it should come out to be two because this is a two dimensional array and here i have a four dimensional array of this employee type where employee is a class so its value should come out to be four if i run this program uh, like the compilation succeed if there was any error let's see if i change the static result to five like this is a four dimensional array but i am checking whether it is five or not so it the compilation compilation should fail here and you can see that the compilation actually failed it is saying at line number 46 which is this this value equal to equal to five failed the static assertion failed so it means that our template meta function is actually correct so this is how you can actually implement template meta function and if you want to see like how this is getting expanded how this template is getting expanded compile time so i have also earlier mentioned in this in my previous videos that you can actually check this at this cpp insights.io website you can paste this whole function here and you can see how your template is getting basically what magic compiler is doing behind the scenes you can check that here so you can see how your template actually how the recursion unfolded anyways thank you guys for watching please do not forget to like subscribe and comment and i'll see you all next time